Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Old World Blues. So, um, you might be wondering, where, why did you upload this so late, Mr. Mocha Lover? If you're wondering, I, I didn't upload this video at the normal time, it's just because, uh, I tried playing through this campaign, or through the next episode. I had an episode ready, or this, this one, basically, but it wasn't very good. I mean, I went to war with the Painted Men, and let's just say I spent an hour trying to kill them off. But it was just... It wasn't very good. This video just wasn't what I wanted to show you guys. So that's why I didn't upload this video, you know, at a normal time. Anyways, we got Yearning for Yampa. Um, usually, I won't do that, you know. I usually will have a video every single day, but, you know, when you're working sometimes and... Things don't go your way. Oh well. But anyways, we're doing Future of Our Forces. And right now, we could go to War with the Painted Men. But from what I learned last night, I'm going to wait on that. Because even though it looks like they're not that strong, they're very, very strong. At least compared to me right now. So we're going to wait. <clears throat> I will still get my men organized around their line. But we're going to build up our forces first. Now, I want to address a comment that was left at this point two days ago about my divisions and that um, I almost always use the exact same template for throughout all of my playthroughs in Old World Blues. For example, like in my infantry divisions, they would use only like dynamite, sometimes fire teams. I actually don't really use fire teams that much more anymore. Um, I would also use logistic companies, recon companies, and stuff like that. I used Kaisar's, in my Kaisar's Legion campaign, I used dogs, but I don't use dogs that often. But so, the big thing was, I usually just keep the same, temp same template for every playthrough that I do, and I'm thinking, you know what, he's kind of right, you know what, this playthrough, I'll, ma I'll mix and match it up a little bit more this time through. I'm still going to use some of the old stuff, <clears throat> but I'll try out newer stuff in this campaign, like for example, Protectrons, Robots, Power Armor. I almost never use um, maintenance companies. Not sure why. I've always just kind of forgot about it. So I will throw on maintenance companies on my robotic divisions and change it up from here on out, at least a little bit. So right now, we're focusing on prioritizing living standards. And if you can't tell, I might have just woken up. So that's why my voice or my speech isn't as good as it normally is. Oh, Bullet Eater falls ill. We're still being led by Mesmer also. Um... Yeah, Sudden Decay, it's really bad. It's really, really bad. Let me let you know that for right now. It's it's pretty darn harsh penalties. So, that's why I'm not going to go to war with anybody at the current moment. Um, we need to have Sudden Decay. We can get rid of Sudden Decay through waterboarding or through hospitality. I'm not sure which one we're going to do. We do have to patch up some zombies, though. But then again, I need the National Spirit Enslaved Scientists. Which is... Somewhere, not on the right. <clears throat> oh, future of our forces, very good. Enslaved scientists. I'm gonna assume it's this one. Scientists to slaves. So yeah, then we get na enslaved scientists, but we can't do that because the foragers need to not exist. So we can't do waterboarding. Hmm. Anyways, so since we're here, my goal is to produce as many robots as possible right right now, excuse me. So let's go ahead and let us get loaded raiders. Get four, three more arms workshops. A raider is nothing without his gun, and we're short on guns. As such, it is time to pump out as many military facilities as possible, enabling the Iron Alliance to assert greater control over its slaves, yielding much more or much better productivity in the long run. As we are examining that, we do have quite a bit of political power to use. Mm, I want to do robot technology. I'll probably do canine technology too, because I don't think we can get advanced, but we can still use some doggos. Love the doggos. Love them, love them. We got a lot of war support. We could use a little bit more, though. Stability. Hmm. Advisors. We already have Alan Randy, which gives us more population, which is a godsend. <clears throat> Non-core manpower, attack. Resource efficiency game will probably be the best just because we're out of circuitry. We really need more circuitry. And I just don't have it. I just don't have enough circuitry. We do have, we do have four research slots, which is very nice. But, hmm. Scavenging. 
Uh, you know what? Let's do it. It's only 20, 20 political power. And maybe we'll come up, come away with some stuff. You never know. But right now, we're just going to sit tight. Just make as many robots as possible. Because those are the most important things that we can make right now. Um, we are out of 12, which isn't good. We're only making robots right now. But we really, really need more circuitry. And the only available circuitry is over here. In the long trees, I think. Yeah, Lone Tree. Not Long Trees, but Lone Tree. Uh, Kaisar, he's got a little bit from the Hangdogs. Oh, the Foragers also have a little bit of circuitry. Nice. Another one division over here. Come on over to... There, actually, I should have let you do this. Nice. Hang on tight. Yeah, when I was... To be honest with you, like I said earlier... Um... I went to war with a painted man, and let's just say it wasn't a disaster or anything. It was just very, very difficult. And because of that, I realized that infantry by themselves against their infantry just suck. They're doing asymmetrical warfare, so and we're doing robots, so these infantry that we have, they really don't get that many benefits. So, it was very, very tough to do. I'm coming. Also, I got, got told that I only use ballistic weaponry. I like ballistic weaponry, but I guess in this playthrough, I'll also go with... Energy weapons or laser wep laser weaponry, as well as bombers. I almost exclusively choose to use um what was it? I almost always exclusively used close air support in all my old world blues campaigns because it's so good. It's so good, right? Why why switch when it's so good? But really, really, dang it. Bombers are really good, so let's get some gliders going, and then we'll get some tactical bombers, because I don't think I've ever really used those. I don't know how effective they are. They might be very good, they might not be very good, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So before we go to pa War with Painted Men, obviously we need a war justification, or a war goal, but I want at least five combat robots, or robot divisions, because I was using four. Four just wasn't enough. Five, it's not that much more, but it'll still help. And also... Using these robot divisions, they're only 18 combat width, which isn't bad. But, in time, I do want to throw on some APCs on those divisions, because someone recommended me do that. So, I think I'll do that. Let's see, next up, Painted Red. I could go to War of the Foragers, but... Hmm. You know what? I don't know what Kaiser's going to do. They're trying to kill off Twin Mothers. Someone's trying to kill off Twin Mothers, actually. Why is a Navajo Nation trying to kill our twin mothers? You know what? Here's an idea. See twin foragers. Oh no. If I go to war with the foragers, as Kaiser goes to war with the foragers, then they could go to war with me and demand territory. So we probably don't want to do that. Hmm. When is this it canceled? It does not exist? Okay. Anyways, we gotta focus more on ourselves, anyways. Local slaves. Every child a soldier. I mean, organized raiders would be pretty good to do, but let's do asserting dominance. Even though the leadership of the Iron Alliance is under Mesmer's hypnotic grip, there's no time to rest. We must increase Mesmer's influence by asserting dominance over the raiders that make up the bulk of the Iron Alliance. In which we get Mesmer, and then we also get plus 5% non-core manpower, which isn't bad. Which is, you know, a welcome, welcome addition to our little lands here. But still, it's only 5% until we get to the next one, which makes it 30% more. Awesome. Actually, this isn't bad for 100 days. It costs 50 political power, but I do want to do the Mesmer stuff, and I do want to get him as a military theorist. Let's see. You guys... Where's the guy that gives me plus 10% monthly population? Sawbones. There it is. Sawbones. That's pretty good stuff. Military stuff. Obviously, we'll have to go with expanding the gang for more Justify War Goals times. Um, but... Okay, Brains, Wrath, Clear War, New Reno. Alright, let's see what happens here. But I'm taking this slow just because I know I don't have enough divisions. I just do not have enough divisions right now. Um, what's their stats like? NCR, Declare War on the Scorpions, okay. Integrate Courtyard. Manpower, not bad. Divisions, not bad. Divisions are way better than the Brains, Wrath. And way better manpower. Hmm, interesting. So, we got Dynamic, Tactics, Integration... Um, I don't want to go with quality, or quantity, I mean. I don't like quantity, because it lowers our soft attack and hard attack. 
by 10%. That's not cool. I don't like debuffs, man. Debuffs ain't cool. Oh, but it looks like they're, they're kind of exchanging lands a little bit. We'll see what happens around here. What path is New Reno going? The Mordinos. Who's top dog? Jet Beta. Oh. The 80s declare war in Eastport. Uh, New Reno's doing precautions. <clears throat> oh, God. Sergeant Granite's Defense Company, Thrads Immortals, the Roaring Bears, the Hellhammers. Oh, we got quite a bit of political power. <clears throat> Excuse me. Electronics, motorized, artillery, infantry equipment, planes. We do need to research more plane stuff. And I can't go to war economy, so... Less non-core manpower in exchange for more attack. Well, we're not really attacking at the current moment. Non-core manpower as well as more resource efficiency gain. That ain't bad. <clears throat> Let's see, if we get gain like 6% more, we might get one more circuitry. Which really isn't that worth it. So, oh, I want that monthly population. But, what if we did this stuff? Nah, focus on basic hygiene. I want more, more, uh, let's do this one, just because I think it's worth it. You only lose 0.2 weekly war support in exchange for plus 0.5 weekly stability, as well as a little bit more research speed. Basic hygiene education sounds like a really good deal to me. Really, really good. But, my goodness, I really want to trade with somebody, but there's no one to trade with to get more robots. Hmm. Not good. Starting dominance would be good, though. But, you know what, maybe we'll get... The war justification against these guys first. Oh, Red Breakers was annexed. Very nice. Yeah, unfortunately for a Royal, they're not doing so great. They got annexed by the Bone Pickers. Washington Brotherhood's looking pretty large. <clears throat> uh, Kaiser's still trying to take out two sons. Mexico is, well, Mexico. Yeah, not much else has happened. NCR is slowly trying to kick some Scorpion booty, but we'll see what happens. And of course, the N NCR. New Vegas allied with. The great cons, like what I did in my last campaign. Ah, combat language, good stuff. Um, how about we keep pushing forward? I definitely want to research this stuff before it's too late. Ah, uh, industry. I need industry. I need engineering too. Get some more reinforcement for now, I guess. Five more days for crop rotation. We're almost done with asserting dominance. And good. So, we want to make sure we can go to war with anybody we want whenever we want. So, let's get, get painting in red. It's time to conquer another tribal nation. This time, we're targeting the painted men. There's some good slaves to be had from these primitives, but we'll take the time to paint them in our own shade of red. Glorious. And what are we producing? Well, we could be producing the infrastructure, but infrastructure is okay to produce. Not bad by any means, but. Hmm. There's other things that could be produced instead. I do want to throw on at least a few different types of support companies on my divisions, though. Let's see. Reliability goes up by 10%. That's good for robots. HP. I will get maintenance companies and probably recon companies, because I think they're pretty good, honestly, for most things. But, robotics, planes. We're doing planes, which is good. Basic stuff here. <sighs> Let's go with basic melee weaponry, because that helps the infantry no matter what I do. Oh, right, roll out technology to scavengers for 50 days. Even more research speed. I like the research speed. Give me as much research speed as possible. It's only 2277, but we need to be able to research as much as fast as possible to make sure we actually make a difference in this campaign. Even though the longer we take, the more divisions they make, and the more manpower they have. That just means I need more robots, though. So, you know, Reno seems to be winning their war, though, against the Vault City. Interesting. Yeah, that's good. We're, oh, we're making some infantry equipment as well. Quite a bit of it, too. Um, I do want to make scrap motorcycles. I think dynamite. I'm still going to throw in some dynamite and some support equipment on my infantry, though. Not a lot. Just not a lot. Let's go with that. Lower by two. And then throw on... I need more planes. Yeah. At least start making some of that. Oh, there you go. Do that. Two sons was annexed. Good. Make more of these. And then I want to save at least one factory for planes. That's what I really want. Planes, planes, planes. 
But for now, if we're making some infantry equipment. I'm not going to really be opposed to that. We're trying to build another civilian factory, but we just don't have the resources for it, man. Uh, we're producing some stuff, templates of stuff. Well, you know what? I'll throw the the demo teams on it just because you get more soft attack. And these stats, they're honestly pretty bad. Oh, oh wow, the Navajo Nation actually, or not Navajo, yeah, the Navajo Nation took out the Twin Mothers. You normally don't see that. You normally don't. Light robots. Well, we can probably get rid of that. Militia force, good. We got more political power. Still don't have Mesmer. Oh well. Hmm. Military factory construction speed. Uh, you know what? I did say I want more monthly population. Oh, but we are we are on export focus. Why are we on export focus? Export. I mean, we'd only get like maybe a few more if we got rid of export focus. Oh, we can't even go down. That sucks. We're on volunteer only. Hmm. Can't do the artist. Resource efficiency gain on equipment. But yeah, we'll do that. And that helps us by getting us one more circuitry, which honestly isn't very much at all. But I'll take whatever I can get. I'll take literally whatever I can get. Um, we're doing well on that. Not bad. Uh, some of these divisions probably have to retrain maybe a little bit. Um, we're building some, some support equipment as well. Oh, gliders. Thank God. Let's go ahead and get some motorized flight. That'll be very important. Very, very important. We're getting painting painting in red. This stuff won't be completed for a while, but New Reno seems to be doing pretty well against their war against them. Murtaugh is getting killed by New Canaan. Is there anything else going on? Scorpions are still not giving up without quite a major fight against the NCR. Let's look at some manpower, some uh, divisions. NCR has quite a bit more of everything. Oh, the manpower seems a little bit low. They might be in a crisis, though. Maybe. But they might be winning overall. N uh, not NCR. Legion, what are you doing? The Twin Mothers. Cool, we must have built another factory. Well, I want more factories, so build one in New Sterling again. And then focus more on this stuff. Let's see, 30%, 30%, yeah, I guess do that. That'd be pretty good for us. <clears throat> we could produce planes. Ah, oh, painting in red, good. Do that. Go ahead and start making a few planes here and there. Not very much, but whatever. Let's see, painting in red, very good. Happy 2278, everyone. Happy 2278. We Let's get some muscle now. To achieve anything in the West, the Raiders will need some time to develop military doctrines, as conquering anyone without proper preparation will undoubtedly result in defeat. The training will be difficult on our men, but will create some of the finest soldiers the Wasteland has ever, ever seen. And no, I'm not going to go to war with these guys yet. That would be suicide. There's no way I'd want to go against these guys just yet. Actually, instead of building a civilian thing right there, we might need one or two more infrastructure around here. We have another company here. Very nice. Very nice. Indeed. We might just come down here too as well. Four infantry divisions while holding out against all these guys would be good. But having at least one more would probably prove to be the best. Oh, we can search for robots. That might be worth it. Search for robots using power armor. 75% chance, 85% chance. Let's do that. I want to get as much robots as humanly possible. That's very, very important to me. And how many factories actually does the painted men have? They have actually quite a few. We could potentially increase our factories, our factory numbers, by 50% if we take them out. If not, double our amount of factories. Smoke signals, very nice. More research speed? I think so. Esport. They're not having a good time against the 80s, but, you yeah, know, whatever, you know. Yeah, that's just still disgusting. The Cyclops tribes is like that. Oh, do they make an encirclement? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is a former Yakuza tribe territory. Or Yakuza territory. Oh, that is not good for the vault. Yeah, the vault's probably not going to win. We're going to see a thick new Reno. We're definitely going to see a thick new Reno. So they went with more Dino. What can they go with then? They're going to go with the Hellhammers. Lil Jesus or Lil Jesus, more Dino. Tobias Halver Halverson. Field maintenance, very good. Less supply use, good. More breakthrough, awesome. Really make sure that we're prepared for any war against the Painted Men. And once we're done with the Painted Men, we'll probably go to war with 
potentially lone tree if they're by themselves. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the Mormons, though. So, since we had this focus tree here, um, we could either have Mormon forgiveness and eventually join the Mormons, or we just make them slaves. I like both. But considering what I'm going to choose the next campaign on, or play as a next in the next campaign, we might not want to become Mormons in this campaign. This is a little wink, wink, nudge, nudge for the campaign following the Iron Alliance. So I'm already planning what's going to happen. We get right now 1.1 political power day. We aren't mobile getting any more stability, but that's a-okay. With muscle, we get more <clears throat> bonuses to land auction, which are going to be very, very important. Um, yeah, just with sudden decay, I got it. You got to really make sure that you go to war when you are really, really ready to go. Ooh, basic weaponry, nice. Um, that's a little bit ahead of time. We're not going to do that yet. Let's come back and do backyard workshops. All right, very nice. Very good. Who needs pipe guns when you have basic weaponry? And eventually, laser rifles. Oh. Cool, and we're building, building, building more infrastructure so that when we get attacked over here, it won't be too bad. Good, good, good. Muscle. Awesome. And we definitely want Mesmer's expertise because we can produce more stuff. But I want to get rid of that debuff as fast as possible. So, complete control. The time has come to assert complete control over the Iron Alliance. We will take command of the slaves and civilians of the Iron Alliance by using the Polybius device so that Mesmer can have the entire nation under his trance, in which we get plus 30% more non-core manpower. And basically, we be completely become technocrats. Very cool. Very, very cool. And actually, right now, we have, we're doing better on this. With us doing scavenging for robots... <clears throat> Hopefully, we'll get like at least 50 more robots that we can use, which will come very, very handy when trying to fight these guys. Uh, but we're almost done with getting enough demo equipment for our support companies on our divisions, which is great, great, great. We're making some support equipment as well, which is great, great, great. I need to research maintenance companies, of course. I need to research tactical bombers. So we're actually not doing too bad right now. Yes, we're not at war. I mean, the first two episodes, we were, what, at war with the Scorpion Bites? And then we ended up, or maybe it was a two episodes, the last episode, we took out Scorpion Bites, and then Wither Dogs, and then Yampa. But really it was just Yampa, because they took out the Wither Dogs, so, whatever. What's done is done, I can't take away the past, you can only learn from it, right? Cool. Um, almost two robots a day, which is good. Just need more time, a little bit more time, about a, a little more than a month, month and a half, for that stuff. Research? Come on, motorized flight, I need more research speed. Oh, feels like I, feels like I don't research things enough, or fast enough. So many things I want to do, but we can't do, man. Ah, uh, five days. We have a bonus. Limited technology bonuses to drug dealers bonus and land doctrine bonus. Well, okay then. And let's start to get some planes. Awesome. Let's get some R plane bombers. Their ground attack is at six. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. And just keep an eye on the painted men. Warrior's duty. They have quite a bit of that, quite a bit of that. But with a little bit of demo companies on my infantry, and honestly, they're very weak. They're pretty darn weak. But having this demo stuff really should help. Let's see. Composite stuff. Robots. Power armor. Motorized. Robots. Robots will be good to do. Technology is great and all, but I need more scrap material. None of these give it to me. Yeah, complete control would be great to do. <clears throat> and prioritize living standards. It's nice. I could use it, but I want to build more stuff. I need more civilian factories, though. Hmm. But more stability is always very good. Screw it. Do it. Alright, so how's the wars going? Yeah, they're still not giving up without a fight. The 80s are pushing in through Eastport. Scorpions are hanging on pretty darn well. What is Kaiser up to? Nothing. Now they're doing poor construction. Nice. And let us patch up some zombies. It's time to decide on how to deal with the unfortunate condition of our soldiers. And obviously we can only choose one path because, well, I haven't done enslaved scientists because the forgers are still there for now, but whatever. Awesome. Another division. Good. Good. This is going to be very good for us. Actually... That I might ruin my divisions if I throw in one more. I want to get heavy robots eventually, but throwing one more on, 
Hurts the supply a little bit, but gives us more breakthrough defense and stuff like that. Make him at least 20 combat width for now. So that'll be good. Ah, oh, here we go. <clears throat> Our scavengers have returned from their mission and managed to retrieve a host of robot parts and the occasional whole robot. Our technicians will set right to work, making the parts into robots ready to be deployed on the field of battle, saving countless lives as they bear the brunt of any attack. Now our men need some time to recover and plan for a new scavenging mission for robots by this means. Whilst they do this, we can send them out for something different or by different means. Cool, so we got 47 more pipe guns, our manpower comes back, 50 things of scavenged power armor, and the following is the loot our scavengers retrieved. 20 scrap bots, 20 police protectrons, a 10% bonus to Duraframe I bought. You know, it wasn't nearly as much as I wanted, but I'll still take it. I will absolutely still take it. I still want robots, though. I really, really need more robots. Hmm, 75% chance. Ah, it's only 20 political power. Anything I can do to improve this is what I desperately, desperately need to do. Simple circuitry, very good. And before we're done here, before we're the game, before we're done with this episode, I will be um, going to war with the painted men. Oh, I can't do that yet. Ah, irrigation. Just need a little bit more time. We gotta make sure we got enough energy cells. I mean, we're not. It's not like we're making more energy cells, but we have almost two support robots a day. And once we get up to there, and we have full twenty combat with divisions, we should be able to hold the line pretty well. They start attacking us like crazy. Should. Should is a good word. Should. Let's see. Almost done with another one. Patching up zombies. And besides, we definitely want to get rid of sudden decay, which really hurts you insanely bad. As I learned by trying to make this video yesterday, but it just didn't go very well. Ugh, terrible. Alright, taking a while over there. Robots just doing pretty darn well. For the painted men, their divisions, they're only using infantry. That's it. Just infantry. But because they're going asymmetrical warfare, they can throw in more infantry, probably just like one more infantry battalion into every division, which makes them even stronger than normal, which is really frustrating to fight against. Really, really quite frustrating. And concerning this, though, just need more circuitry, really. It's really all I need, and no one wants to trade with me. No one likes the Iron Alliance. They don't like Coloradans. Colorodians? Colorodos. Colorado, Colorado people. I don't know. But, you know what? We get more resources, get a little bit more not non-core manpower. We are done mobilizing, which is not bad. A little less than 5,000, especially when we're using robots. That ain't bad. 60 more days, two more months. Prior toys, living standards. 74% stability. That's pretty good. That's really not bad at all. Um, land doctrine, of course, we're still doing. That stuff could be good to do. Mr. Handy, Handies, Mr. Gutsies. Infantry stuff, still ahead of time. Well, last time I went with frag grenades. Um, let's go with incinerators this time. And uh, yes, I'll do maintenance companies eventually. It's just, I want to make sure that the infantry are taken care of. Oh, I don't know why I have three divisions there. Give me at least one more division and then I'll go to war with, um, the painted men. That'll be good, yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh wait, we can do basic hygiene again. I'm totally okay with that. I'm totally okay. Give me as much stability as possible because our stability will get lowered when we go to war. And with more stability, you get more factory output, consumer goods, dockyard output, political power. So it's time to deal with, to decide how to deal with the unfortunate condition of our soldiers. From what we can tell, there's two solutions we can choose from, both of which should be enough to return our raiders back to normal. One of them involves dispatching our specialized team to retrieve people that can help us. The other involves com combing through territory of the foragers and bringing these people back forcefully. Cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and choose this because it's available, and I need to do it as fast as possible. We can send our least affected men on an undercover mission to retrieve the twin mother scientists from the forgers. If we provide them sanctuary from Kaisar's persecution, they should be willing to fix up our boys. And while a traditional raider solution, this is assuredly our safest option, in which we need to unlock these decisions, which will come down at the bottom here, so that we can actually take them and remove this god dang debuff. And unfortunately, my cat wants me to... Th Get him out of, bring him into my room, even though I'm sitting on his chair right now. Oh, Binky, he's certainly special. And you know what? Binky, he is quite a meower. Not much is going on at the moment, so give me just one moment, guys. Binky, come on. Come on, Bink. Come on, Bink. Come on. Yeah, Bink. I don't know why you're looking at the door frame like that, but there's nothing special about the door frame. Hello? 
Hello? Hey. All right then, Bink. You having a good day, Bink? Yeah? All right, hopefully, come on. It's good, just one more month for a few more robots. Through hospitality is going very well. We almost have the flesh is weak. The flesh is very weak. Ooh, ooh, very weak flesh. Uh, robots, less than 200, that's good. That's very good. Ah, oh, the flesh is weak. And of course, the army is hard and armored. That's what I like to see. A hard and armored army. Right, Bink? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Hmm. Let's see. Just keep a quick eye on these guys. Trading power. They have way more divisions now. But they have way less manpower, which is... Okay, never mind. Never mind. Hopefully, we'll still be doing okay against these guys. Especially if we have a few bombers. Yeah, give me some of those bomber boys. Robotics, give me more soft attack. And we're going to have to produce... um. Probably two air bases up here, really. I think that'll probably be for the best. Um, and we will go to war soon, hopefully. Good. How's this pr the production of the robots coming along? They're about 50% equipment, a little bit more than 50%, which is not bad. Which is not bad whatsoever. We have irrigation for more population. Let us go ahead and grab some maintenance companies next. Yeah, you okay, Bink? Yeah? Do you want your chair? Do you want your chair? Come on. Yeah. Good boy. Good bing bing. Good good. Yeah. Now sit down and leave me alone. Alright. Oh, it looks like we got one airbase up there in the White Plains. Oh boy. Cool. Um, we got enough political power that we could use it again. I, I will save it up probably for... Oh no. Uh, today we have no contact from a scavenging party, a relatively normal occurrence, except today is the 10th day in a row we've heard no contact. But we have their last report of location. We could send out a search team or a party to their location to try and get them back, though this would take some organization. Um, yeah, it only takes command power, so give me those boys back. I'm going to save up as much political power so I can go to war economy next as well. So, there is that. We're doing that. That's great. Planes, don't even bother with gliders. Just give me some bombers here. Okay, so the Western Brotherhood is still declared war on the Bone Pickers. Interesting. Let's see how they do. Um, ah, ah flamethrowers. Very nice. Our infantry will definitely need this. I just want as much soft attack as possible. So I'll do that. Flamethrowers. Make them nice, roasty, toasty. It only takes 20, but we'll be defending, so I don't really want to lose any sort of defense. Only 5%, though. And I can't get any more robots for now, it looks like. Equipment using vehicles through hospitality. Great. Next up, we shall do reorganize raiders for more research speed, but no. Oh, we want to produce many more robots. So, Mesmer's expertise. Maybe it's time for a different approach. Mesmer's expertise and technical knowledge is quite impressive and can be put to good use in building our military, though we'd have to endure his numerous eccentricities if we want to get any useful help out of them. Awesome. Also, decisions. Going through the last hound. Do that. Takes about a week. Troll War and Declare War on the... Oh! The Bone Pickers are going to get a little bit banged from two sides, and... Oh, the Western Brotherhood of Steel decided to invade this way. Oh, beautiful. Even though they didn't get pushed in. Oh, no, they're pushing in. They got pushed back here. Well, whatever, that's fine. Troll War and Declare War on Kemal Station. Oh. Okay, you went to war with both these guys. That's interesting. Bold move, Cotton. Bold move. New Reno is still struggling, pushing in the Brain's Wrath, but that's pretty normal. Um, oh, good, 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 good. I don't understand why we only have one division here guarding this area, but that's okay. I understand why we need three divisions here, just because this is going to take a ton of attacks. And give me one more division. That's all I want, just one singular more division. We need 22 more robots, so we'll have that within the next few days. I know this video is going to go on a little bit longer than half an hour, but, you know, whatever. Things happen. Um... 50. Oh, passing Castle Rock. Yes. We gotta find where these scientists are. We must locate them. Yeah. 25 isn't bad, but... Oh. Ah, thank God. Alright, throw you on here. Let them get enough organization, and then we'll go to war. Even with their, when they're green. Ah, uh, do that for now. I don't want green robots. Or green soldiers. 98%, that's not bad. There you go. You're done training. 
minus 25 percent combat capabilities isn't very good in my opinion all right not bad give them a few more days we're stockpiling to make more robots now which is awesome uh, I think we've set ourselves up pretty darn well for what could come. We need more scrap. But once again, no one is willing to trade with us. And I need more civilian factories so I can build more scrap materials. Actually, let me see. Infrastructure really sucks around here. Let's do that. We'll build it as soon as we can with what we have. So, oh well. Alright, well, it looks like it's time for us to go to war. Let's see what actually happens. We have no planes, but... And we immediately get attacked. Cool. Immediately go ahead and grab some war economy. And... We have eight gliders. I will use you and abuse you until we're done. Just do this. And no retreat. Just do... Nah, do no retreat. We should be able to hold no matter what happens. Seeing as I spent time th now and this time when I'm trying to record this to make sure that we could probably hold the line fairly decently. The infantry might be a little bit weak, but they're only getting attacked by two divisions. These robots I knew would get attacked very hard. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Oh, and Kaiser's Legion goes after the damn busters. Damn, son. Oh, and going by Colorado Springs. Also, just keep in mind, we do have the, the debuff of minus 25% defense, which is insane. And plus, it's also just a flat minus 10 to division organization. So that's why I took all this extra time to make sure that we could actually do well. And we are holding very well. Losses so far, 275 versus 60. Not optimal, but not great. Not bad. And next up, we shall do Mechanical People. Using Mesmer's Expertise, the Iron Alliance can scavenge new Sterling Scrapyard for more robot parts. We get double research bonus for robotics, and we can produce robots even faster. And we have now maintenance companies. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. In which, I could do more of that... Robotic stuff, heavy lifters, just more reliability on these bad boys. Um, how's our support looking? 144, not bad. What if I threw on some maintenance companies? This would lower our armor just by a tiny bit. Probably not that it won't really make too much of a difference, but we get way more reliability and equipment capture ratio. And we have still a stockpile of support equipment. Very nice. Very nice. Let them just wither on our line. He's a panzer expert for even more division armor. Actually, if we did that... Concerning these divisions, if you have 10% more armor... It's 18.7. How much armor does this division have now? 18.7, 10% more armor. I'm not sure how that factors in. That's not looking very good. So you're going to have to hold. Hold on more and more and more. And that's why I'm probably going to throw on some more uh, support companies on these guys. Because they really, really could use it. Uh, how's the air war going on? Well, we're not doing any damage because we have one plane left. Holy crap. That's not very good. Just go ahead and get rid of that then. Ah, reconfined. Refined construction. More hardness, more armor. Plane throw add-on. Sustained pressure. Let us get combat simulations. Let us also get... Hmm... Something to help us with our infantry. Because they're very, very weak. And they need support companies. Um... Chem companies, doggos, would be pretty good to do, actually. More soft attack. Chem companies help you lose, not lose manpower. Or we could just do something over here. Division training time. Um, nah. Specialized doctrine. Coast air support stuff. Industry stuff. Oh, what about engineering? Oh, let's get some more encryption and decryption. I forgot about that stuff. That's kind of important. Next up, if you're going to come out here, you're going to come over here. Because we definitely need to hold that line. The robots are doing great. I mean, the robots... I knew the robots would be doing pretty good. I'm just worried about the infantry, for the most part. I may throw on some fire teams, maybe. But I really... Honestly, I really don't use fire teams that much. I never found them to be... Ever since the latest update, really that valuable. Oh, bone pickers was annexed. That's, I guess, kind of expected. Go and throw on some more de defense for them. Bone dancers were annexed. Keep holding on, guys. Keep holding on. Our losses are nowhere compared to their losses. They've lost about a thousand men so far. That's good. Throw on one division over here. I can probably move you around here. I definitely need more robots. Uh, oh, traversing through Pueblo City would be very, very important. Uh, we have a little bit more political power now. So, we could potentially... Robot technology. Canine. You know what? Let's do some canine tech. Yeah, let's get some canines. 
Damn, Buster's was annexed. No, Kaiser's even a little bit more powerful now. Look at that. Oof. The Scorpions are still alive somehow. The That's disgusting. Why would you get that? No, 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 no. Hold on. I, I, I know I normally don't do this. But I'm going to transfer this over here. Oh, wait. Uh, transfer. And you know what? Just give them this. I don't... I, I That's just disgusting. That looks a little bit better. There you go. That's definitely not equal, but whatever. I don't really care. Um, so yeah, how are our divisions doing? Oh, we have... Do we produce another division? No? Huh. I wonder where that... Oh, that robot might have, might have been defeated or something. Just came back around. Um, yeah, you guys are not can't afford to lose. We've got reference manuals. Let's get some decode signals. Let's throw on some of these bad boys as well. Because that's probably the most important area to hold on to. Um, maintenance companies... With these maintenance companies, hopefully we can take take more equipment from our enemies. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. Let's see, that's good. Yeah, just get more robots, man. The more robots we we have, the more robots we can use, the less we can depend on infantry, and the more we can defend very, very well. But that's pretty much all the time for that we have today, guys. It's already past 40 minutes in this video. But we've gone to war with the Painted Men. In the next video, we will, of course, destroy them. But let me first read this final, final... Uh, focus for us. Let's see. Which one do I want to do? I don't know. Should I do the nearest vault? Probably not. We'll probably do the nearest brotherhood just because they're getting killed. But let's do... Uh, this one. Organized Raiders. The Iron Alliance always operated as a unit, albeit a somewhat disorganized one. With the Raiders lacking efficiency and productivity, it is time to reorganize and take full advantage of our new management. Great. And happy 2279, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year sliding through Salida. But like I said, that's all the time for that we have today. So if you liked the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow. And I hope you all have a great, great, glorious day.